Ah yes, Western animation. When it comes to trying to be like Japanese animation, they always seem to disappoint us. But this one was great. For those of you guys who never heard about Super Crooks, it's a story about a kid with a crappy life who gets powers and wants to be a hero. Many of us have heard this story countless times throughout our lives, but unlike the normal thing where they become that big hero, Super Crooks does his little twists like other stories do which isn't seen much. In the story, we follow Johnny Bull, a kid whose mom really got around. Due to this, Johnny never knew his dad. But when he discovered he had powers one night, he was like, yep, my mom did it with a hero. So Johnny, alongside with his best friend, try to train his powers and see how they work, and also put Johnny out there. So one day, Johnny was like, I'm gonna come out as this hero officially to impress this girl I like, even though she's getting laid by some other dude. So, the guy with electricity powers was like, yeah, it's a good idea to fly over a pool full of people. Let's be honest, we all know what was gonna happen. So we get our hero-loving protagonist just being like, nah, the hero game ain't for me, I almost killed a bunch of people. And he tries to become a villain. So, time skip happens, and we see him all grown up, and he looks cool, and he's getting out of jail. Promises his girl that he ain't gonna do some dumb heist, and does it anyways. Just to be stopped by one of the heroes of the whole story who is broken because he has like every power. This girl saves him and she's like all mad at him but she like introduces him to this old guy who did a lot of jobs back in the old day called The Heat. This old timer The Heat literally assembles a group to try to steal like a helmet and it works until the bastard, this dude who could blow people up, finds them and kills helmet owner dude. The bastard spares the rest of them and Johnny decides to marry his girl but doesn't make it to the wedding because he decides to do one last heist to get her books and this got her him caught. Like why would you steal books as a wedding gift? That's just like bizarre to me. Anyway so like another time skip happens and once more Johnny doesn't look cool getting out of jail but aside from that they decide to attack the bastard by robbing his private island casino. Big brain plan. The plan works because the team was just goaded and they brought like this hero known as the gladiator and took down the Praetorian who's a dude with a bunch of powers and robbed the bastard and got away with it. To me this story was overall enjoyable, it was funny and had me interested in every second of it. It was well paced and they had well planned out heists and even though it didn't always go as planned it always brought like this cool funny or dumb outcome to it which was very helpful in the character's development. To me, though this anime isn't the best one out there, it deserves a 8.5 because, let's be honest, its intro carries the whole thing, but we're not gonna um, openly admit it, but you, you, you know, you know that intro's good. But the anime overall is amazing.